Uh, all right, everyone. Hello. <laughs> uh, today we're playing a game from my library this time, rather than Jake's, uh, and Burnax. Yeah, so what, so what is this game? Because <laughs> I don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh, it's a 2D Metroidvania of sorts game inspired by stuff like Castlevania 2. Yeah, that's interesting, because I have never played Castlevania 2. Uh, I played 8 through this game once, but, but you haven't played it at all, so... Nope, and it seems recent, says it's from 2022. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this game does have a multiplayer mode that was added in an update, so we'll be playing with that. I'm guessing that was from... I'm guessing that's why it says 2023 on the title screen? I think so. Yeah. But, yeah. I'll tell you right now, this is one of those games that has, like, choices that affect how you get your endings, so I'll be letting you pick those when that comes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> like, like I said, I've already played this game once, so I already know about this stuff. But... Did you There's get a bunch of it. Did you get all the endings, or did you just get, like, one and just called it a day? <laughs> uh, I, I did one of them. Okay, so maybe, maybe we might end up getting a different ending. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, we have we have we have a bunch of test files. <laughs> yeah, you can also do a one, a one player version of two player mode where you switch between them. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Uh... It's like the um, it's like old ass style. All right, going with the. Uh... All right, how do I how do I erase? It should be just one of your buttons. Okay, it's B on my Xbox. Yeah, I'm using the PS4 controller, so it's O. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll just go with normal names. Which one do you want to pick from these? Uh, let's do classic. I don't think it'll be fun if we do casual. <laughs> Tired of the Violent Crusades. Young Duke Short and <laughs> Jacob finally return home. <laughs> Uh, already <laughs> great with the name replacing. But Charlie was uh, unaware that something came back from the Holy Land to his homeland the year before. A mysterious book written by a madman whose scriptures were believed to hold great power. This is very short. <laughs> she goes to picture me. <laughs> it's hard to take that bit seriously. Yeah, with the, with the name replacement, it's... Oh wait, actually, I did get hit two more endings, but they were kind of joke ones. Oh, great joke endings. Alright, well, I've already messed around with the attacking, so that's good. And immediately, uh, a zombie. <laughs> ooh, we got, right. ooh, we got Moon Me. So I'm like a range attacker, it looks like. Which honestly, yeah, you know, honestly for the parsec latency, that'll definitely be a benefit <laughs> for me. Is it still having some latency issues or? No, but I, I'm just saying like, you will you have more um, like, how do I say it? Like, there might be like a couple frames of delay. Just, just That's just how it is with parsec. Uh, speaking of choices, here's our first one for the game. Oh. Um. Uh, hmm. I don't uh, know. I guess, I guess <laughs> to just explain a little bit. Well, uh, there's... Four of these endings are based on your quote-unquote morality, depending on if you do good or evil actions. There's one where you go all the way with both, and one where you don't with both. Hmm. Uh, and, and also one where you go evil, but manage to get enough good boy points by the end. Okay, uh, uh, I guess I'll just ask, which ending did you get? <laughs> uh, I got I got the all-good ending. Okay, well, let's do the complete opposite then. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm not sure if this decision actually gives you any points in either direction, but... <laughs> but damn, that was, that was, damn, that was violent. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Well, okay. well, I guess we'll just move on then. Yeah, this is, this is very Castlevanian-styled. Inspired. Oh, oh look at us. Now we're covered in blood. Ooh, is this a safe point or something? Yeah. Ooh, okay.
That's always nice. The prayers quell the pain of battle. <laughs> we can also upgrade? Yeah. Oh. Hold on, uh, you try using it. I saw you have a different option. Oh. Well, what is this? Why do I have like a whole- why do I have like way more shit to pick from? I guess just to make the two-player thing more interesting, I suppose. So... Restores health? So I'm kind of like... like I'm kind of like the mage of the group or something? I, I have magic and you have these things. Oh. A banner that increases movement. A shield to block it. projectiles. So I need I need a thousand for this stuff though, yeah. and then and then just broad attack. I might go for one of these. Some of these seem cool. Yeah. One word. So it looks like we'll have something to look forward to. Oh, and the XP. Um, oh, yeah. uh, there's not normally this many enemies here. Oh, is there? Um, is there more in multiplayer than maybe? I think so. I mean that makes sense because you know we're gonna want to spend our experience on stuff. So I literally- I literally just have the Castlevania axe as my default weapon. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. I think these enemies have more health, too. Makes Some sense. Some of them do, anyway. Just like Terraria. Cause I'm playing Terraria with Desmond, and all the bosses have double health in two-player mode. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Mostly a bad thing, on. though. Oh yeah, we share it. Okay, apparently our, our XP is the same. Oh, we share XP. So yeah, that makes sense why there's more enemies. <laughs> and we also get Moon Knee. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe it's that we both, both have separate EXP. We both gain them if, regardless of who kills something. I, well, actually, no. I noticed on the left side of the screen, I ha you have your own XP, and on the right side, I have my own. So yeah. I think once we actually start buying upgrades, the ex the experience will actually like change. Like then it, then it won't be it won't be synced anymore. Maybe we'll see. Yeah. Also, I was like the blood goes away in real time. <laughs> yeah, that's a nifty little detail. Oh, they really went all out for this little pixel game. So, yeah, you want to go for the all-evil route in this game? I mean, yeah, I think it would be interesting since you went for all good. I'll rip that moon knee. Okay. Nope, Jordan. Please, I see your battle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, kind of like Link in Zelda 2, I have a shield that can block stuff when I'm oh, not cool. doing anything. Yeah. Please, welcome home, sir. Open the gate for your Jordan and his squire. All right. Here's our first main town for the game. Ooh. Any news from the east, my lord? No, it seem like it. Okay, well, I... Now you have enough to upgrade. Well, I guess I'll... Yo, more power. Oh, uh, yeah, your thing is still glowing. And, yeah, we both gain EXP, but we both have separate things. Yeah, I think I need a thousand to get like one of those upgrades, so I'll probably wait until the next save point. You could upgrade your, your game or health. I could, but usually when I whenever I play games with like a lot of buffs and stuff, I usually like to go for like the really big ones first, like all the really expensive ones, because I always find like I always find that they're like the more they're more worth it in the long run. Can you go in the houses? Not at the moment. Locked. <laughs> Lord Jordan, have you met Sir Tancred? Never have I seen so fair a night. Uh, he's the guy in the golden armor from back there. Oh, and there's also a shop? Locked. Yeah, that's because it's nighttime. Oh. Or, actually, I think it might just be because of how things are currently. Plot reasons. Maybe, uh, unholy noises are carried on the winds tonight. And there's also in and a, an eye place. Oh. Monster jump scare. <laughs> and it's raining. The gate! Hold the gate!
Damn, okay. Oh shit. There's the boss. Bear in mind with that guy, his attack only really hurts you if you're on the ground. So you can like jump straight through the blade as long as you're in the air. Well that was easy. <laughs> yeah, but as you know, it's the infantry off. Yep. Thank heavens you're safe. Father Henry, what is happening here? Thanks to you, Nurse Off is safe for now. Rest first. In the morning we set out to hunt the beast. Oh now it's daytime. Lord Jorian, you're awake. We found the monster's trail. Please follow us once you are ready. Okay. Oh yeah, so now now the doors aren't like closed. Hello, traveler. <laughs> and you know you're speaking to Hans the Great. Handsome Hans. <laughs> yes, you see, I, Hans, am a respected member of certain organization. It's kind of a secret. <laughs> you just have nothing to say. I can tell you're impressed. <laughs> what can we attempt to meet game of prestige? We meet in the telephone passage. Alright, and we also have another house. My husband has gotten mad since he came back from St. John the Please, please help him. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know how much longer he can last. Please, sir. I just wanted to up your volume a bit. Well, there's, uh... Well, there's something secret down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that lady's husband is down here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, possessed, so he's locked down there. And... Oh, this is the blacksmith? We can take potions or upgrade our armor. Hmm. Need more money, though. Oh, yeah. We don't have a lot of money yet. I'm Harold. I'm glad to see you return safely, my lord. Thank you, Harold. Uh, you have some poop on your face. Also, you, son. Father. Oh, oh this is like a dad. My yo, song is yo, yo, was that, is that family jewels? <laughs> my songs are the finest in all the people. Oh. Well, I don't know, know that. I didn't know they put family jewels in this game. Greetings, my lord. So glad to see you return. I'm supposed to travel to Arcos for work, but the roads are too dangerous. Not even Dorsal feels safe anymore. These are dark days indeed. Oh, free potion? Yeah, we can only carry one at the moment. Lord, an unholy skeleton is haunting my father's grave. I beg you to destroy the abomination. I'm pretty sure most side quests we can still do, just as long as we do a few select decisions. Alright. This game's already good for having family jewels in it. <laughs> what is this? Would you like to learn a spell? And a permanent health increase. And an armor spell. And there's a lot of shit to upgrade in this game. Let's maybe focus on upgrading our armor in itself first. Oops. Uh, dude, skeletons this way. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, this is one game where I don't mind the backseating too much. <laughs> Sorry. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, otherwise I'd, I'd get very lost. <laughs> I think you'd probably do fine. Do -do -do. More enemies. Just throw a shit ton of axes, that'll do the trick. I mean, again, I didn't really know what to expect from this game going in, besides it was like a Metro, it was like a Castlevania kind of game. But, it's a lot more fun than I was expecting, which is always great when that happens. <laughs> I mean, it's at least, uh, it's at least better than yeah. Castlevania 2. <laughs> I can just say you didn't play that. Well, I mean, I've watched videos on it, like AVGN. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do get what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Because that game's pretty janky from what I heard. And also having to do weird shit to progress, like, 
standing a in a corner thing. to wait for a tornado to come, or uh, having yeah. to go, having to drop through water that's normally like insta death. It's like two things I remember from that video. Aw, oh, shit. Big boner man. Yeah, it was like a cool earthquake attack. And he's dead. Kill the kill the skeleton. Y'all, this moon me. I'm guessing we can't go over there yet. Not yet, no. Well, where are you guys coming from? Enemies just respawn when they could go off screen. Well, that's a good way to get grind for money and experience, I guess. Yeah, we already got enough to unlock, to upgrade our armor. Ooh, nice. And you can buy some, and you can, well, get one of your upgrades at a save point if you want. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Actually, yeah, we should probably hit, head down first. Yeah, just get that little bit of extra experience. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, you're dead. Oh, shit. How do I get revived? <laughs> uh, I think I have to just get to a save point first. Okay. I didn't realize it's that low on health. We don't have much health. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice either. I had two health. I don't know why I died in just one hit. Well, at least the difficulty's already showing. That's good. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe, um, maybe it's a case where I can only take two hits. Maybe I just take like double damage or something. That's possible. Also, I don't think I get experience when I'm dead either, so that's another thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, speaking of Castlevania 2, this game does have a day night cycle. Yeah, how does that work? If things just change over time, or we can change it by permanently by sleeping in. in. Oh, I see. Alright, so I guess I'll upgrade. Let's so see. So I need to. So I can have a shield. I can increase movement and attack speed. Uh, I can restore health. And I can have a crossbow. Honestly, all of these are really nice. I don't know what I prefer. I can't. To be honest, I kind of want this. Oh, you got achievement too. <laughs> I almost can afford. Um, I can almost afford another thing. Like a health upgrade or something. Yes, they're going to say that every time we save. Well, good thing I don't have to repeat it every time. So now you have health too. Yeah, that, def hey, that, did, that did give you another health bar. Well, let's go upgrade our armor. Alright. <laughs> yeah, look at you. You have the thing on your back. Oh, that's cool. My sprite updates over time. So is this permanent, or is it something that goes away if we die? It's permanent. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what the heck is Infernax? Oh, Elijah, this is a... Um, like a Metroidvania, Castlevania kind of game. And uh, I haven't... I've only played a few minutes, and so far it's pretty fun already. <laughs> Inspired a lot by Castlevania 2 in particular. Yeah, I mean, if the towns are anything to go by. Actually, wait, never mind. Or, okay, I guess we can look around. My family has lived in up a hole for generations. We're glad you're back, my lord. Tell me, truth, you're cool, good, sir. Have the heavens truly forsaken us? <laughs> Just some random priests walking around. We are in a church. <laughs> I know there could be multiple priests per church. Well, these are more like monks than anything, but... Oh. They're, they're, they're actually, it's, hey, that was a stupid comment, but... <laughs> the chest over there can paint their albums for the poor. Perhaps you would like to add 25 gold to it, Lord Bird? No. I, I'm pretty sure all that does is just give us good point points. I do not care for your charity. Fuck the church. 
But yeah, you basically have your little sub weapon thing now. Yeah, I'll, I'll use that once we get into like a once we get into combat zones or something. I think you can just, just like pick it up or something. So why don't you try placing it down so you can figure out what button it is? Mm. Can you not attack now? I cannot attack with this. Now, what does Y do now? Whatever that is. Oh. Oh. oh I have to put it down. And I guess the other button you use to bring it up at the back. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. Okay. Actually, okay, let's let's ignore that. Yeah, let's let's for now. Yeah, like I said, we're trying to go evil, and I'm not in exactly sure what we're supposed to do for that. <laughs> So if I put this down, it apparently makes you throw shit faster. Yeah, in a certain distance from you, from it. Yeah. Yeah, you can either carry it or place it down, but it's not when it's on your back. Seems a lot more situational than I thought. <laughs> you can't just put it down, so... Okay. I'm guessing one of its upgrades will increase the range, though. Yeah. It's not it's not that big of a range. Honestly, I thought it would be a lot I thought honestly thought it would be a lot cooler. Like I thought it was just like a permanent um like movement increase or something. But instead I have to carry it around with me. The description did say that. Oh, I guess I wasn't paying attention. But at least you can do two damage. Ow. Or wait, never mind. Well, um, I'm almost dead already. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything here for now. Dang. What the hell's going on here? I got out alt. Yeah, I don't live very long <laughs> compared to you. Hopefully there's a save point nearby. Yeah, there is. Look, look at the top of the screen. Ah, good, good, good. Well, since I'm uh, since I have enough uh, experience, I should probably upgrade my health or something. Like, um, I mean, I also have enough for this, which is basically um a heal. Yeah, that's your own heal. So I haven't, I have my own uh. I have my own heal. I might go for that, honestly. So I can heal whenever I want. Swap tools Which? using L or R. Uh, you try that. Oh, it's trigger, okay. There you go. So I can switch between them. So I have three bandages, so I have three heals. That's pretty damn good, actually. Question is, how much do they heal, though? Uh, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna be modest and say, like, maybe one or two bars of health. Probably. How you wanna heal? Nah, I just like saving. <laughs> it's a nice little tune. Yeah, kinda reminds me of the, uh, kinda reminds me of the RPG Maker, um, like, organ noise when you go to go in and sleep in an inn. <laughs> I might have a look at the upgrades for that that banner thing when I go to the next save point and see, you know, if it's worth investing in. We threat the wretched creature to the citadel. Forward, men, avenge our fallen. Well, here's a here's a here's a good uh, place to put it down. <laughs> that was close. Just made quick work of that guy. And he's dead. Yeah, oh. this game like it's likes its brutality, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. Not a bad thing though. The Citadel still radiates a foul stint of dark magics. Now I see why um Twitch rates this as a mature game. <laughs> and well, you can probably tell what our main goal here is. Um, I see a Star David. 
It's the other way around, dude. <laughs> oh. It's a uh, Satan star. I don't know. Lu Lucifer star. Yeah, there we go. More or less, yeah, but no one knows why IR troubles began about a year ago, but since that day, this has been here. Magic Seal locks the door. I've seen a gem such as these in Valshire Keep, Valshire Keep before we had to condemn it. Julius, please give Lord Jordan the key to the keep. You fight bravely, my lord. Here is the key. May your faith protect you on your quest. If you ever find yourself lost, come see me for guidance at Darsoft's Citadel Cathedral. Oh, is he the Merlin of this game? Well, I mean, at least this banner is really nice for getting around quickly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we gotta look at it, or...? Yeah, let's see. So, for the banner, it says, um... Press attack while holding banner to deal damage. Oh, yeah, so I can actually do something with the banner. I can actually use it to attack if I upgrade it. That's a little melee attack. Yeah. Gain an additional banner. <laughs> so I can have multiple. The rain... The, okay. the effects are... That makes the effects better. And then you it increases the... So that's like your final upgrade. Gaining two bandages. Bandages recover more health. Wait, so let me see. So yeah, bandage, cool. bandages do only recover one right now. And then the rest are just gaining more bandages. That's cool. And we also have a crossbow, which is not bad either. Uh, Load reload, but deals good damage. That might not be bad. Bolt travels faster and damage is increased. Speeds up reload and damage. Pierces multiple enemies. Ooh. And then more damage. And what's this? Is, and this is a shield. I can block stuff or be from above or in front. It can be placed on the ground. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, I honestly kind of want to get all of these, but I don't know if I'll be able to. <laughs> yeah, maybe we maybe will. We can also just grind for a bit if you want. Hmm. If we need to grind, we can do that. Okay. I mean, even just for the hell of it. I mean, we're gonna be getting more experience on the way there anyway. And yeah, having that armor now is really great, because now I'm not dying in, like, two hits. I forget if there's anything down here that we can currently do or not. I mean, always worth a check. I mean, where we're supposed to go is that little area with the save point that we passed by from earlier. The door that we didn't go into. I mean, as long as it's a new place, I'll, I'll go there. <laughs> Shit, wait, is there something back here? Or... Yeah, I think, I think that banner will just be nice for getting around quickly for now. Which isn't bad. I don't think we can go in there still. Yeah, not yet. I don't, I don't know if people speed run in this game, but if they do, I bet they would love that banner. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they ran, ran this at GDQ recently or something, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's not, that's not bad, actually. Hey, uh, you mind killing... Oh, wait, actually, here's something funny. Watch this. <laughs> This is literally just the reference. Yes. <laughs> Great. But now you try to hide. Now you try to hide the inspiration at this point. If only Jordan and Jacob knew what kneeling for ten seconds at that specific occasion they would call on a deadly tornado, <laughs> they might not have done it. Oh. <laughs> and don't worry, the game doesn't actually penalize us for this. <laughs> At least I don't think it does. <laughs> did we start with that? Did we start at zero lives? What? There's a live system in this game? Well, uh, on classic mode, yes. Oh. 
but I yeah, that, <laughs> that's all there is to that. So there's, there's, Although, a, there's just a funny Easter egg there. It's where health was left alone. That's good. This damn eye is in like the worst spot. How do I, uh. Am I not able to heal myself? I'm pretty sure you are, but. I think I can only heal you. It said yourself, the other player, or yourself. Oh, I, a B is to heal myself. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's interesting. Actually, wait, is it back here or. I'll admit it has been a good while since I played this game, so I don't remember the exact layout for stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, here we go. Greetings, gentlemen. I am Robert. It is a pleasure to meet you. Would you care to join in our revelry? Yes. I'm evil. Father Henry had someone full. So much to teach him a lesson. Let's destroy that precious holy tome of his. What do you say? Yes. Use the cover of darkness. The church should be empty then. Yeah, there's a new quest. Destroy so the holy tomb. So, so we can go destroy that book back at the back in the town. Gladly. If I had access to James' the library, I could craft a powerful spell. That has to be an AVGN reference. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Because <laughs> his name his his name is James. I guess maybe. Or or the, oh, this is James. He was probably named after the Angry Video game there. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Uh, those men outside have refused to leave my land or causing such a ruckus. Will you please talk to them? No. Or maybe yes. Let me know when, <laughs> let me know when they're gone. They're unsettling. I don't know. Does that, does that, does that give me good boy points if I deal with them? Oh, well, it's turn tonight. Oh. What a terrible night to have a curse. So that'll just happen randomly. What can I do for you? You can't be here. Yeah, my men need some rest. Once we finish our drinks, we're gone. Care to make camp with us tonight? You look thirsty as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to talk to the to James first. Um, yeah, they can stay. <laughs> That's the spirit. Rest with us, sir. You deserve it. One drink. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> Why is your guy it's so not. serious? <laughs> he, he just like that. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. And look at look at the look at the guy pouring me and her drink in the corner. <laughs> His eyes. My guy just looks done. <laughs> yeah. The next day. Yeah. I'm dead. What happened? We had more than one, my lord. I should check back with James. <laughs> He's sleeping. Okay. And, uh, James is gone. Oh. Lucky for James, he had to leave. Look at this library. Hey, I can make powerful spells with this. Interested? Ooh. Now we can get a, like a drain life spell, oh. though we can't afford it right now. Oh man, like 15 gold off. So yeah, if it wasn't clear, uh, th those guys murdered James, and well, here's his grave. Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling that's what happened. Yeah, James would normally give you a spell too, but in his case, it's just a full heal spell. Well, these guys give you a drain life thing. Hmm. I wonder which one's technically better. I don't know. I haven't used a drain life, so. Oh yeah, this guy is just talking about the church still. Are you able to go in the tents? I don't think so. Okay, guess not. Yeah, let's... <laughs> so already this this playthrough is like different than yours, <laughs> just because we let we let a man die. There's different spells. That's already pretty neat. Yeah, dude, come on, let's grind a bit more so we can, uh... There's, there's not much more before we can afford this spell, it's only 250. Alright. Does the spell apply to both of us, or is it just one person? I, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Z 
I love how, I love how the camera can't even keep up. <laughs> yep, there we go. Let's learn that spell. Yeah. Yeah, now whenever this happens, it's something permanent. Awesome. Heal moderately and drain life from nearby enemies. I mean, that's pretty good. It looks yes, like... That's... I don't know. It looks like you can use it because I have I have this this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's, the funny the banner. spells are the spells are for me. Uh, yeah, right. it heals both of us. Okay, so yeah, you can just use it whenever one of us is low on health. Yeah, that took three magic bars for me. How much does the how much does the full heal one cost normally? I don't remember. Oh, I want to. I mean, maybe it's like two or three. I don't know. Actually, wait, we should probably head back towards our objective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Die, skeletons. You can't be deserved to live. I don't think they're skeletons. They're more like zombies. Because skeletons don't bleed. <laughs> Even though there's some games where skeletons bleed anyway. Oh yeah, like Doom 2, where for some reason the revenants just explode into blood, even though they're skeletons. <laughs> I mean, don't they have, don't they have some flesh on them though? I mean, I guess, but like it's mostly bone. Yeah, there was that skeleton we fought from earlier, though I don't think it bled, even though it like has entrails inside it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that it. range is really short. Like, look at this. And I'll run the camera again. That's mostly all I'm gonna be using it for right now, is just to, like, move faster throughout towns. Oh, we have a lot of EXP now. Holy shit. Well, I can guess you can get the first upgrade for that if you want. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. 1500 I think, for each of the upgrades. And I guess since I have a little bit left over, I guess I could go with, like, uh, like a, an actual stat increase. I'm not sure if you'll have enough for that. Actually, maybe you will. If I get 750 left, then yeah. Ow. Hey, yeah, look, I'm at the peak of the range here. <laughs> oh nice shit! Time again. Oh shit! Here comes Pac-Man. At least it's not. At least it's not as interruptive. As Simon's quest. Relatively, anyway. It still plays like a mini cutscene. Yeah, but it's at least charming. It's got a cool animation. Yeah, the enemies will also change in certain places when it becomes nighttime. Yeah, I notice we have these weird, like, rabbit looking things. Yeah, with skeletal faces, that's what it looks like. Come on. <laughs> oh. oh, there's the map. That is the most Metroidvania e map I've seen. But yeah, our first objective is just up here. Alright. I guess we'll go check out the shop. Damn, your uh, your upgrades are getting expensive. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna go for um. Banner strike. Yeah. Oh, the next one. Oh, oh, it goes to two thousand. Okay. And then uh. Mm, maybe maybe health for you. Well, I do have the bandages though. So I don't know if I'll need the health. I'm gonna go for power. Okay. And then I go for health next time, because that's cheaper right now. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, wow. <laughs> okay, multiplayer really likes the eyeballs. <laughs> Yeah, and I, can, I can do like this little stab. I think it's up your punching. 
Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, even if I have this thing out, um, it makes your attacks faster, so that's good. Ow. Taking way too much damage. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to switch back to the banner to pick it up. That's weird. Actually, I'm kind of curious what happens if I leave the banner behind. Because I think... I, I seem to remember... Oh. This... I seem to remember when I left the banner behind that it actually, um, like, came back in my inventory. Oh, oh. I misjudged where that was. Oops. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's better if we just reset. Okay, I think we just game over. Oh. Okay, so we have back to our last save point. Classic restart and casual restart? Oh, well, we're actually getting more bloody as it goes. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, casual restart, you keep some. Oh. You won't be able to set class. Yeah, let's just stick with classic. We didn't really lose much anyway. I was messing around with the banner too much. <laughs> Alright, clear Mr. Eyeball. There we go. Okay, that was stupid of me. That was also stupid. You wanna head that back out and heal again? Yeah, probably for the best. <laughs> Better than wasting my bandages. We get to keep our XP at least. Well, I mean, hey, if I kill a few of these eyeballs, I can um, I can go back and get a health upgrade. Because <laughs> I have enough for it now. So that's good. Yeah, look at that. I have just enough. And then uh. I guess we'll save again. I I save religiously in games like these. Yeah, that, that that's fair. So now I have five health, which is much better. I guess this is like the first like real dungeon of the game. Yeah. And it's already uh pretty tricky. There's no save points in these, by the way. That's kinda of why I insisted I tried to go back to the front before I fell into the pit. Oh, okay, I see. Ow. Probably use that draining spell. <laughs> you want me to? Yeah, I only have three I only have two health left. Yeah, that's, that's basically a full heal. Ooh, just barely made it. Okay. The hitbox on that's kind of weird. Wanna? Oh. Oh. <laughs> is that is that another Easter egg? <laughs> I'll find you. Click on and find out. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, at least he's gonna chill a bit. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost chicken. Almost really breaking. <laughs> I think it's pretty good, my lord. Reminds me of my mother's cooking. Jesus. That was just like a funny gag cut scene. <laughs> yeah, that didn't actually heal us or anything. Oh, wow. 
Oh wow, fuck you, skeleton. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, I realize these dungeons are gonna be a lot harder because uh, they're gonna do, they're gonna go crazy on the enemy spam. Is there any way to recover mana, or are you just stuck with the amount that you have? I don't remember this enemy being here, but that might be another multiplayer thing. Or maybe I'm just forgetting. I wonder if this is one of those games where it starts out really hard and then it gets easier once you get more stuff. Like, more upgrades. Oh, there's a key. Is that all we had to come here for? Oh. <laughs> okay, skeleton. Yeah, well, we gotta start that all again. Okay, well, we, we know what the goal is. We gotta get a key. Yeah, using uh, using the banner mid-dungeon is probably not a good idea. Because <laughs> even though it does technically have a melee, it's not very good. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, more experience, I guess. <laughs> and, actually, do you want to head back to the village to see if we can buy anything? Mmm, we got 200, so yeah, we could try. Oh, I forgot these guys were here. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Plus, we can also go and destroy that book in the church. Yep. So I kind of have a little whip-like attack like you do now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just swinging my mace and you're just swinging or using the... <laughs> I'm just swinging my... I don't know, it's like, I'm, it feels like I'm hitting him with the, uh, with the, with the banner. It's not terrible. But it does let me move faster, which is always nice. I don't think we've been up here yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have, but, uh... I'm pretty sure enemies are stronger there, and that's an area we'll get to later. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, I, it's, a little, it's a little stronger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Time to outrun the camera again. This tome has been in Darsa, a cathedral for generations. Could I really destroy it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mash. Yeah, fuck that tome. Yeah. They're never gonna notice we were here. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we can go here. What do you have, sir? Yeah. Potions? I think it was a mana potion. I think that's... I mean, it's oh, blue. It oh, it's a slot for potions. Oh. I mean, an extra slot's not bad. Yeah, especially since we can, like, get potions for free and just keep them over there. Oh, yeah. And what, here? Wait, no, I think this is, like, an own shop. Oh, he sells you... Oh, I mean, increase the strength yeah. of armor is nice. That's a defense spell, and we can permanently increase our life. Guess I'll do this. Alright. I mean, yeah, you have enough for either of them. Okay, so where was the free potion at? Right, it's just here. It, it was, was just it, here in the end. It's in the end? Yeah, this guy here. Oh. 
Oh, so now we have two potions. Oh, now I have two. Oh, is it just heals you? I think so, maybe. I mean, I guess that means I won't have to use my bandages on you then. <laughs> so, maybe you can switch to them? I don't know, try pressing your switching thing button and see what happens. No. It just switches to the banner or the, the bandages. Oh. And there's the sunrise cutscene. Alright. So I do have like a bit of a hitbox above me. So that's good. Yeah. Die skeleton. You don't belong in this world. Uh, you want to head back to that dungeon, or are we gonna head back to the wizard guy? Mm, I mean, the dungeon's right here. I kind of want to go to it. We can go to him back then to like finish the quest. Maybe he'll have something for us. I don't know. Mm, I think now that we have an extra potion and um, some extra stats, we should be able to. We might should be able to do the dungeon. And um, I think I have an. I don't think I have enough for an upgrade actually. Ooh, and more mana. Wait, so I think now you can actually do the M you can do the drain twice now, which is also yeah. really good. Can I upgrade anything? I could get the crossbow. Or the shield. Okay. Yeah, either's good. I think having a I think having a nice ranged attack would be good. I'll try out the cross I, I kinda wanna just try out each of them and see which one I like the most. So uh, to reload. Oh, okay. Wait, let me, let me try it out. Oh, okay. So it's it's like a one it's like a one time thing. So it's kind of like a sub weapon, actually. Yeah, pretty much. So if there's like a really if there's like a really nasty enemy I need to get rid of. I can just shoot the crossbow at him. Or do some big damage to a boss or something. Yeah. So that'd be good. That's that's that spike is in like a really bad spot. Yeah, maybe just throw your axes to that guy from down here or something. Ow, he did a lot of damage to me. Oh wait, I healed oh, you, you. I healed you by accident. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, okay. just throw your axes to that guy from here. Yeah, there we go. Nothing wrong with being cheesy. Yep. I'll just put the banner down here. Why not? <laughs> I don't. I don't know about its vertical range. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh oh, I was gonna use the crossbow on him. <laughs> oh boy. Oops. Uh. uh oh. Apparently, I can respawn though. You can respawn. That's Wait, weird. Or I saw a heart thing go down. I don't know what that is, actually. It said minus one heart. I'm just gonna take this easy, because I, I know I was getting cheesed out. Had a bit of an unfair... Few, a few unfair deaths in here, actually. Oh yeah, right. He does that. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting that you have to crouch there. Okay. Ooh, that's a good spot to use that. Alright, here, what if I try using my crossbow on that guy? He's just gonna match my axes. <laughs> I 
Oh, there we go. And a random eyeball. Yeah, so my banner does respawn. That's good. So now what are we supposed to do? <laughs> uh, head forward. Make our way forward. There's a way forward in here? Yeah, just go another direction. Okay. Okay, <laughs> good good time for the heal. You were on one HP, so... Yeah. Actually, do you want to head back to the entrance to save so we can keep the key, or...? Yeah, we probably should. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, I'd probably regret if I didn't go save. Oh, that one, go that one shoots on top. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to die anyway, so probably for the best. If I die, it's not too much of a big deal. Look at all these free experience eyeballs. And honestly, this uh, this crossbow is not bad, especially for um. You know, just waiting around when I have to wait around and do shit. So, ooh, more health. And you can upgrade something. Alright, let's see. What can I upgrade? Um. Yeah, you can hmm. the shield, upgrade your banner, or the other stuff. Gain two bandages. <laughs> what was the next upgrade for the banner again? Um, it gains an additional banner. <laughs> Plus the effects are better. Okay, I might go for the next upgrade for the banner then. And I guess we'll yeah, save. Uh, I yeah. mean, I mean, getting more bandages is basically like getting more health, <laughs> so it's kind of the same thing. Then I have five of them. Might end up upgrading the might end up upgrading the bow, because I kinda like it now. Oh. Yeah, I hate I hate when that happens. It's really annoying. So yeah, it does look like the potions are just for you. Yeah. So on the surface, it may seem like you get more healing capabilities, but, you know, five bandages is not bad. That's basically a full heal. And I love that you can use them, like, whenever you want. You're not limited to, um, using them, like, at a time. Ugh, I, I never- I can never tell where that frickin- those frickin' arrows are gonna shoot from. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it alternates between them. Well, that's good to know now. So yeah, so I could if I could upgrade the um the bow all the way, then I could um you know ooh wow. Yeah, that's a good place to use that. Yeah, if I upgrade the bowl the way, I could, like, do that piercing shot, which is really nice. Oh, I shot too high up. Oh, there's, like, red eyes. <laughs> How spooky. Yeah, no, they move a little differently. Yeah. I can just do, like, trick shots. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the boss is ahead of here. Okay. 
Or, never mind then. Nope, doesn't look like the boss to me. Oh. Surprise, motherfucker. Bro, really? We don't have enough for, um... They don't have any heals left. I don't think there's any way to restore your MP, right? Yeah, I also think we went the wrong way. There's something above us. Ah, oh, shit. Which way is it? Okay, it's gonna shoot above me. And in doubt, duck behind me. But, like, I have the shield, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, there is no heals. <laughs> oh, what's this? Another spell. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Pretty sure this is like a screen nuke thing, if I recall correctly. Creates a powerful thunderstorm, but it's 4 MP. <laughs> Problem is, is it doesn't heal us. Okay, I thought for sure I was gonna die there. You wanna see if we can make it back to the entrance, or...? Yeah, we might have to. <laughs> we're, gonna be, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be doing the- Oh, Well, now we kinda have to. <laughs> oh. Never mind, uh... Well, that heart isn't respawning, you're on your own. Oh. Why did it decide to bring me back? I think it's good as, uh, that heart thing. Hmm. But uh, but didn't it bring you back last time? Yeah, that's because I died first. Freaking eyeballs. Wait, do you have your bandages replenished or? Oh, I do. Yes, you do. That's good. Uh, so that'll make getting back to the entrance really easy. Hopefully. Uh, good luck with that. Die skeletons. Remember, you have the banner that you can use for melee. Hmm. Let's give that a try. That'll get me back to the entrance faster as well. Yeah, um, I got an idea. You could also just use your axe here. Oh. When he decides to move into it, that is. <laughs> yeah. A little slow, but it's safe. Same thing here. Axe away. <laughs> yeah, die skeletons. I'm gonna get a lot of experience from this, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. I was gonna try and switch to the... the banner. There we go. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to go between them. Oops. I'll damage boost then. <laughs> Not my proudest moment, but I'll take it. Yeah, you can do this. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. That's a lot of skeletons. Yeah, I'm really trying my damnedest here. Okay, well, at least it seems like the eyes aren't, like... Careful, Spear Shooter! Oh. Damn it! Well... Well, that was, was worth a try, I guess. Well, at least we have the key. So. We do have the key. And now I know what to expect in that dungeon. I got pretty close too, but the damn, uh, the damn spear got me. All right, let's try. Let's do better this time. 
Now I know that, like, if the eyes are coming towards me, I can just, like, jump above them. Or I can just, like, shoot an axe above my head and it'll kill them. Which will that'll make it a lot easier. Hmm, shot two above her. There we go. That's that's what I was trying to do this whole time. Okay, that time it didn't work on the eye. Yeah, we don't we don't need to go that way. We have the, the key. Oh yeah, right, I'm dumb. Alright, how am I gonna deal with this guy? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just, just kill the skeletons. Oh, this crossbow is great, actually. Yeah, I'm guessing that the shield would have been pretty useful here. Yeah, I bet. Is probably why there's so many of them there. Yeah, the banner is good here. Hmm. I think it would be a good time to use the mana spell. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and I took damage. That would be a good time to heal yourself. I'll use my bandages. I have one left. Damn it, I didn't want to kill the eyeball. And we're doing better than we were last time, though. <laughs> yeah. Now let's get the lightning this time before we head forward. Yep. I can just grab it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had any problems with the latency, so it's yes. good. I don't think we got. I don't think we'll get to use that though, because if you you don't only have three mana left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a, some potions I can get to replenish it outside of save points, but that won't come for a little bit. Yeah. At least assuming I'm remembering correctly. Well, mana potions are always nice. Definitely use those a lot in the Castlevanias on uh, the uh, DS and the, th and the GBA. Alright, now we can go. It was very handy. <laughs> that crossbow cheeses everything. Yeah, we can make quick work of those guys. Man, 2300. Okay, this is new. Ooh, that's, that's a scary jump. Here's the boss. This is the boss. Ooh, the cinematic. Big scary guy. Alright, now now would be a good time to put my banner down. And he shoots eyes. <laughs> Oops. Oh, 
Nice. There we go. I think the banner helped. <laughs> hey, a little bit. Banners are mostly good for bosses. <laughs> Castle cleared. Ooh, we got 500 experience. That's nice. Yeah, we get... Do you want to do the honors? Oh, a funny, a funny conspicuous red orb that I have to collect. Well. Oh, what? You have to hit it. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> so you have to destroy it, not collect it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so there's five of those? Mm-hmm. And we have to break all of them before we can get into the Citadel. What does that mean? There's five dungeons in this game or something? Yeah, pre pretty much. Okay, I can't get anything yet. Okay. Uh... I think I said I was gonna upgrade the... crossbow or banner? That's for 2,000. Yeah. The third one will increase its range. That is good. I'm guessing that means like range as in like how like when it'll activate basically right and not like the actual range of the attack <laughs> yeah I mean you could also just look at the upgrade itself yeah well this is great now because now I can now I can have two banners right. running around uh, hold on can you come back here real quick I just got called by someone okay uh, I'll be back real quick all right let's take a little break all right I just went to use the bathroom. <laughs> I feel like the hitbox is a little bigger, although maybe that's just me. <laughs> a lot faster now that you got the upgrade, look at that. Wow, that's great. Definitely gonna be running around with that thing. Let me do a little experiment um, with one of these eyeballs. Um, okay, never mind. I, I was gonna see. Yeah, I, was gonna, I was gonna see like how big the hitbox is above me. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can test it. Yeah, that definitely seems better. See. <laughs> oh, and night time. Uh, let's go see the wizard. All right, Harry, you're a wizard. So we can go like uh, finish up the quest. Or, oh wait, never mind. That was further up. <laughs> All right. Well, get some free moon knee along the way. Now you have four thousand. You could definitely upgrade something soon. How are these crazy shadow men? Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> uh, might want to bring out your axe here. Pretty sure those guys hit hard. <laughs> okay. Nope. Not far enough. Yeah, but you gotta get just the right range. Well, they're smart. Well, we'll keep their attention. Pay attention to the flashing lights. There we go. Well, and you can you can you can swing your your you know mace a lot quicker when I have this out. And I might want to use the heal spell. Yeah, that drain cell is pretty damn good, honestly. I think it might be better than the full heal that you would have gotten normally. I wonder if this is gonna be like Undertale, where the bad guy route is actually the harder route. <laughs> hey, don't know, to be honest. <laughs> That'd be funny, though. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna Castlevania to ourselves again. Yeah, screw you guys. Hey, yeah, let's see. These guys do two damage. Yikes. Well, having a quicker reload time for the crossbow is pretty nice. That w well, that would be nice, rather. Yes, hello, dog. Uh, please leave me be for a little.
That's a shame I wasn't there to see it. Here's some gold for your trouble. How much moon need? Under box. Uh, do you want to head back to the village and see if we can buy something, or...? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure. So, what, how, what? Do you get like one of those? Do you get like the one of those hearts? Like every um, how do those hearts work actually? Do we buy I it? Like, I think that's what that permanent life up thing was about. Oh, not, like actually our health. Well, that the health thing is like an upgrade. Well, we can buy it at the save point rather than this. Oh, I see. So it gives you um, like an it, it lets you respawn one time. Then is what I'm getting at. Well, it's kind of a shame I wasted it, then. <laughs> so many enemies. Well, more... Give, give, give us a chance for more money and experience. Well, I guess... I think let's go use the save point up ahead. Alright. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I forgot that's a bit further up. Oh, hello, Mr. Sun. Oh yeah, those shadow guys disappeared. <laughs> I guess they're allergic to the sun. Looks like I get an extra crossbow back. I do like that, that every screen you go, you get like, um... You get like all your shit refilled, including like the banners. Now, now we act. Now we definitely outrun the camera. Yeah, and I think there's still one more upgrade for that thing coming. Wow. Uh, all right. Speaking of upgrades, hmm, what should I upgrade now? I you can increase the banner size too if you want. You have enough for it. And the range of the banners effect, or a lot bigger too. Or I can make my uh, crossbow stronger. Now nah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go all out with this freaking banner. <laughs> Now, what's the last one again? This one, um, it just makes That's everything right, that... stronger. Yeah, it's just a better movement, attack effects, speed, yeah. attack damage. Wait, so it makes my attack stronger? Oh shit. That's actually a really good one then. Wait, yeah, I forgot to save there. Uh, how long have we been going so far? Um, an hour and 20 minutes. Usually like a good usually like a good amount for me is like an hour twenty. Uh, let's say we head back to the village and make our way back here to finish things up. Alright. Man, this banner upgrade here is nice. Well, so how, how does single player work? Do you just not get a second guy on your team? Yep, yeah, unless you're using the mode specifically for it. So you you would not have access to this banner guy normally then? Yeah, unless you're playing the special version of one player mode that, that that's like where you switch between them. But that wasn't there when the game launched. Wow. <laughs> so I guess I guess I'm getting the like the better experience with the game then. I suppose. Well, yeah, considering. <laughs> Imagine having to walk around super slowly. We're not that slow. I don't know, man. Once you get used to this speed, you don't go back. <laughs> I feel like we've been here like 500 times already. <laughs> well, we'll get a fast travel eventually. I, I can play that. Well, that's good. Well, and just being able to go through these both go through these guys like really fast is nice. Hello, I'm back in town again. It's like the Ghostbusters, they come to town. There, wait, <laughs> he's back here. All right, what do you have, sir? So we can upgrade our armor some more. It's it's a spell. Oh, it's a spell. 
So we have three out of seven spells. Increase this. So is that a permanent thing? You just like until you die or what? Or is it like, um, I don't know actually. Yep. Temporary. Temporary? Is there anything else in here besides the Brewmaster? Well, you, pretty sure you can sleep over here, but, uh... No, you don't need I'll... to. Well, actually, you might want to, because you don't have any MP. You're missing some FP MP, rather. Actually, hold on. Let's go save over here, and I'll show you something funny. Alright. I like foony things. Uh, one of the joke endings involves you sleeping in a bed over and over repeatedly. Oh. <laughs> Great. You, you, you might like... Well, we actually, we could end off the episode with me showing you that. Okay. Is there anything else we can buy? I mean, we have 600 gold, rather. I don't think so, unless we're getting... Take this gold. Yeah, this is for that skeleton quest from the start of the episode. Oh. Well, you know, 100, more 100 gold is good. Yeah, we can sleep for free, so we can do this pretty quickly. All right. A man like you sure needs more rest to heal his wounds. Please stay, my lord. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How many times do you have to sleep for it to work? <laughs> I don't remember. Shouldn't be that many, though. <laughs> you just woke up from an entire day of sleep. You still need more rest. Yes. <laughs> Well, he's starting to get concerned. He's like, bro, you just slept, like, a whole day. <laughs> I understand you might prefer comfort over adventure if you want to say again. Yes. I think there might be one more. <laughs> Maybe. At this point, stay in bed as much as you want. I'm sure all problems will fix themselves. <laughs> Hey, okay, here we go. Wow, dead ass. I was expecting a Mario 2 joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a meanwhile, the just burning. Wow, while you're off lazing around. <laughs> wow, great ending. Oh, it just kicks you back to the title screen. That is an ending. Oh yeah, by the way, we can look at the enemies uh, here. Oh cool, we got a bestiary? There's also stuff related to like the endings. Oh. This is for the... Inferno the... power. <laughs> uh, I guess here's a little bio about Hans. Oh great. Famous to, to himself, a counter and owner of the second best mustache in all of Appel. He's, now been qu he's not, never been quite the same since the loss of his true love, Gertrude. Oh uh, yeah, wow. there's also like a password. Oh. Yeah, you can make some funny things happen depending on what how you name your character. I always like when games do that. Oh uh, yeah, this is Yeah, this is <laughs> <what we> get, <laughs> the path of drowsiness. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this bit's about. Apparently there was a flash game related to this. Weird. They've sure come a long way since then. Yeah. Yeah, this is another password thing which we'll learn about later. Alright. Yeah, yeah, then there's this bit. This is from an update. Wow, there's just a dead ass a Jason reference in here. Actually, wait, why don't I show you this real quick? I think. <laughs> Name your... where the strange. Name your character Stranger. Yeah, yeah. If you're wondering what this one's about, uh, if you, you remember how, like, at the start of the game, you, a zombie falls off, off a cross? Yeah. Well, if you immediately head back to the boat after doing that, you can leave and get this ending. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you, able to, then, are you able to have a third save file, or is it just these two? There's a lot of save files. I, I want to see the coward ending before we end the stream. Oh, uh, sure thing. <laughs> yeah. And I guess you can show up the stranger thing, then, too? If that does anything? Yeah, it does. 
So we can show up two different things. Do, do we both have to name ourselves that or what? Maybe. Why don't you see what happens? Okay. Oops. I was, gonna, I was gonna be funny and call myself strangest. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this, hopefully this works in two-player. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, apparently it does. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it seems I haven't teleported to medieval time. Oh, greetings, stranger. I was waiting here for Lord Aseldor. What happened? My name's also Stranger. <laughs> That's how you sling grab your ass. Okay. Yeah, I'm a different character. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. So you could do an entire playthrough with J this Jason ripoff? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he also has, like, other sub different stuff as well. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go meet the first enemy and immediately book it out of here. <laughs> Alright. All right, bye, bye. <laughs> Sir, should we just leave, my lord? Yep. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, "Oh shit, a monster! Let's go." <laughs> yeah. So I guess that was, that was it. I guess there's your joke endings. Are there only two joke endings? Yeah. Well, that was funny. We got to see those at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I guess it's been. I guess this, this is. Uh, any thoughts on the game so far? Oh, I love it. I love this game already. <laughs> I mean, I love. I love me a good Metroidvania, so I'm definitely going to enjoy this playthrough. <laughs> Uh, I hope I'm enjoyed. Yeah, so far I am enjoying it. And I think I'm down to play this every Monday or Tuesday, depending on what's better. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll um, see you next week, unless I unless anything else comes up. But you're probably going to be busy with work, so probably not. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, anyways, I'm going to go. So I'll see you later, man. Take care. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have a good day. Yeah, have a good day. Went to go jack off. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching uh, Infernax. That was way more fun than I was expecting. And uh, I think that's going to be another new series me and Jordan do. So, uh, as always, make sure to like and subscribe be on YouTube and Twitch. And um, I think in about an hour or so, uh, I'm going to bug Jose, and we're going to play Radiant Dawn. And that'll be how we end the night. So, see you guys then.